Welcome back to our New Zealand road trip and strap yourself in for what's going to be a pretty wild adventure in the Marlborough Sound. It was epic! The sounds make up around 20% of New Zealand's coastline, so it's obviously stunning but also really secluded and prone to the odd bit of extreme weather, which is unluckily forecast for our trip out there tomorrow. We're sadly going to be parking up our camper for a few days, who we will officially name today because most of the accommodation and sounds is only reachable by boat. But before we hike the Queen Charlotte track or see the sights from the water, we want to get a sweet bird's eye view with a scenic flight first. Not just any flight though, we're told there's a remote beach we'll be stopping at to experience the real side of the Marlborough Sounds. Oh my gosh, the scenery! I'm not often speechless, but I'm speechless. But to get there, we have to land on a secret private runway tucked away in the middle of nowhere. Hopefully it's an easy landing, but I guess we'll figure that out later. No way. Reveal NZ Season 2 is made possible by Motorhome Republic, one of the largest motorhome rental agencies on earth that searches over 200 different suppliers from 45 countries to find the perfect vehicle for your budget. We filtered our search and saved by comparing loads of different New Zealand suppliers. Plus, with 15 years experience and 24-7 customer support, we're in good hands too. There's a link in the description below. Definitely check them out for your next roadie and this could be you. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Bit of a busy start to the morning because we, we wanted to go and get some coffee and some breakfast for what is going to be an awesome day. Fueled up with the caffeine, lemon scone. And protein shake. And a <laughs> caramel protein shake as well. But We've just arrived in Picton and we are about to jump on a scenic flight with Polaris Air. We're doing the water and wilderness flight with a beach stop as well. And I am very excited. High hopes for this because the reviews are exceptional so i think i'm not gonna we're say we're in it. for a treat i'm not gonna say i said it, it. i said it <laughs> only if it was sun sunny would be better but um yeah greeted by paul pretty quickly there he's gonna be our pilot for the day he's just walking us over now to the plane to go through a few protocols and everything sun's starting to push through i think it's going to be a mint flight hey guys so um welcome to we're in picton here which i will cry echo just um the south of Picton Township. So we'll take off, um, depending on whether the sounds there still here or not, we'll have to take off to the south and then uh, head up through over here Picton Township um, over Canterbury Sound. A little bit of cloud through, low cloud through Canterbury Sound at the moment. Um, just looking like it's just coming over the hills there. But the main base is like a high four or five thousand foot layer. Um, all the way up through the Plora Sound um, towards French Pass. Um, then we'll head across the top of the sounds Man. You good back there? This is a bigger so, plane than I thought it would be. It's enormous, eh? Like so eight seats. Oh my gosh. This is, oh, I'm, do you know what kind of plane this is? We need to ask. No, I'm not sure, but it's, it's uh, from 2015, I think. Oh, it's a new one. Look <laughs> at <laughs> the leather. Business class. <laughs> There's a um, step there. Yeah. Handle there. Okay. So it's kind of like. Oh, I like it. So that's it. Smooth. Style. All right, let's try that out. Put down, arm up. Swing it in! Whee! <laughs> One smooth motion. <laughs> so your belt's like a four point harness, so right. you got the uh, one here, the yep. big buckle on the other side that everything else kind of plugs into. Okay, so down here. Handle's pretty easy. They'll be closed to open in case of emergency, you just pull up. Okay, yep. awesome. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Oh wow. All right. Pretty nice weather for it. Um, nice and smooth. Before we get underway though, quick safety briefing for this aircraft. So two exits up the front, the one down the back. Handles rotate around, the back door slides, these doors open outwards. So you're flying over water here and there, so we um, have life jackets there in the pockets in front of you.
The Marlborough Sounds are essentially a network of sunken river valleys at the northeastern tip of the South Island. You can often see whales and dolphins playing and finding food, plus we spotted both mussel and salmon farms from above as well. The Sounds are made up of 1,500 kilometres of coastline, first visited by Europeans when Captain Cook spent time in Ship's Cove in 1770. These days it's known for its fishing, diving, wildlife, incredible landscapes, native forests and hiking. The most popular hike is the Queen Charlotte Track, a 72 kilometre track along the coast that we'll be hitting up in the next episode. Somewhere tucked away in the labyrinth of sandy bays and secluded inlets is a secret, sketchy, grassy and brilliant runway. It's deceptively challenging to spot from the sky, but before you know it, it's there. I can't believe this. <laughs> we were flying around there. I had no idea we were going to land there for a minute. I was thinking. It's quite hard to see where it is until the last second. It, it is, eh? Hey? I was starting to think, did I miss that we were Straight actually a seaplane maybe? And we we're going to come down on the water? This is insane. Look at that runway there. Casual. <laughs> Just casually landing in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> that was epic. That might be one of my favourite scenic flights we've ever done. So I found out what kind of plane it is because I really like it. It's a GA8. Yeah. No. Oh crap, I have to get back to you. I was reading it on the back of the seat and it is so steady. I mm -hmm. really like it more than the Cessna. Yep, yep. Oh my gosh, the scenery. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I'm not often speechless, but I'm speechless. It's so clear down here and the watercolour changes so frequently as well. You sort of see these these blues and these greens and then there's this sort of like deep aqua. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to take a minute to appreciate all of this. These are the perfect skimming stones. They're so flat. <laughs> Look at this one. No pressure, but this is glassy too. Oh, terrible. All right, show us what you're made of. Is it like that again? Ah, uh, other finger. Yep, that finger. <laughs> so isolated and silent out here. It's so quiet. We just watched the. Yeah, we just watched the stingray come through. Apparently, there's um, the orcas come through here. Um, and you can just hear them going because there's no other sounds around. So you can hear them coming up to take a big break. Yeah, that's it. That was about 25 minutes and we're jumping back in, heading back into town. A little bit sad that's over to be honest. Me too. Yeah. That was almost just as special as the flight. But here we go. You said you were. Un you said maybe the best flight that you've ever done. I just, I reckon, hands, hands down, down, after coming back, the best scenic flight I've ever done. I think because it was so varied as well. We mm. got to see islands. We got to see beaches. We got to see farmland. Like yeah. all sorts of stuff. And it kind of feels like you you're let in on a bit of a hidden gem a little bit because it's. Well, it feels really remote. Yeah. You couldn't see any roads or anything. I'm sure there's roads that connect places up. But well, there was, because where we stopped was oh, three right. hours on a dirt track and a four-wheel drive four. to reach Picton. <laughs> a 15-minute flight. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see which option we picked. But yeah, just having that, that landing and that stop and the time. So then you get two takeoffs, two landings, the chance to be really remote, super secluded. I'm, I'm kind of blown away. And it was yeah. long. That was over an hour, that whole process. Still speechless. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back into the ride, which we still haven't named. 
We need to Don't work on that. Don't put me on the spot. We need to work on that today. Okay, we'll work on it. <laughs> we officially have a name. We have a name. <laughs> this one's a very simple name, isn't it? Especially, yeah, compared to Aston, which was a huge long story, which I forgot. It was like of. A, you needed a three-part series just yeah. to explain <laughs> that it was so deep. This is Dora the Campervan Explorer. Ain't she pretty? She is pretty, eh? Unfortunately, we're going to have to be leaving Dora for, I think, four days. We're going to be parking her up in long-term camper van parking in Picton. I think it costs like $20. I think like 20 or $30 for the whole period, I think. We will find it's out. But a common thing that people do there. Good on Picton for yeah. actually setting that up with big That's parks, awesome. eh? Yeah. So we'll be heading up into the Marlborough Sounds. Unfortunately, Dora can't come with us because a lot of it is boat access only. We'll be walking a portion of the Queen Charlotte track, which we're really excited yeah. about. But yeah, it's kind of sad that we're going to be leaving Dora so soon, but at least she's got a place to sleep for the next Yeah, flight. she's going to be safe with, safe with a couple of friends, I reckon, yeah. down at the wharf. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lucky, your trip into the sounds will be scenic, peaceful and beautiful like this. For us, it was more like this. We picked a freak day with crazy wind that left even the largest of ships stranded in the bay for up to 12 hours. Looking on the bright side, at least it wasn't raining. With so many isolated lodges and houses, Cougar Lines run regular ferries delivering provisions, passengers and also transferring bags between accommodation for hikers. Half the weight on board our journey was supplies and luggage. And a super friendly dog who really didn't like the swells at all. After a few local deliveries and a pretty wild and slow hour, we reached Ferno Lodge, our home for the night. That was an adventure. Well, we picked one windy day. <laughs> Apparently it's not, ride. it's not that common. Even the big ferries, I mean, they're just circling around. They couldn't get in. It's sort of just freak. Yeah, they can't freak. dock. But that was quite fun though, I enjoyed it. How'd you? You? I didn't. I didn't really. I didn't really like the waves, but the boat was great. The skipper, captain, yeah, was great. The crew, awesome. The crew They're was really awesome. onto it. And two hours later, we've arrived at Ferno Lodge. It's on three acres worth of flat land, which, from what we've now seen and what we that's saw, not very common. <laughs> not common. And from what we saw on the flight as well, it's not common at all. So. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that it's all these individual units sort of set. Oh, look at this one, it's got grass on the roof. Oh, I like that one. This looks like a little bunker. We're just trying to find yeah. reception. Where's the reception? Uh, oh, here's Kevin. Hello. It's so cute, it's like an old cottage. It feels way more sheltered back here too. It does. That's the advantage of the flat land, I suppose. I love a bit of flat land. Tucked away. <laughs> well, we don't know how flat the walking tomorrow is going to be though. No, but we're um, expert hikers now, so it's very, fine. Very true. Look, there's the sign for the track right there. Oh. New Charlotte track. That'll be us tomorrow. Hey, up there. Number 11. Oh, nice. Up the top. Yeah. Oh, there's our bag. We're always up the stairs, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. Oh, and it's really large. Oh, let me just put this down. Bathroom. Bathroom. Look at the view. Oh wow, if it wasn't so windy that would be even better. But I quite like being tucked away up in here. It's nice, eh? Wow. Oh, guess what else I've spotted? <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Cheeky bubbles, as oh, if we no. haven't had enough one. <laughs> I reckon. Oh, that's lovely. And then? I love the trees in the back there as well. We're right in there. Yeah, Can you see the track almost? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I bet we'll probably see people walking past. Oh, look at it. Nice. We had all intentions of um, paddle boarding and kayaking here. Yeah, that's because cool. So it's known for being super, super flat. So this is chill compared to what we were just in. But yeah, this, this is perfect flat land. And then the water is apparently yesterday was glassy still and would have been so good for kayaking and paddle boarding. I'm and it's all it's, here that you can use. Yeah, I'm hoping that it's calm tomorrow morning. So after breakfast, we might be able to jump on some paddle boards or something yeah. if it's not too crazy. Hopefully. Because tomorrow we are doing 
the Queen Charlotte track, well part of the Queen Charlotte track, a tiny tiny portion. Ding dang. Ooh. Celebrate our maiden voyage out here. <laughs> Celebrate that we made it. Yeah. So there's a hot tub here. We're going out to dinner at 6 p.m. did we book it for? Yeah, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. I think I know what we're doing until when. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Finally! <laughs> we're on the track. Okay, we're 10 steps in and the road is already split and we don't know. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, mate. We're we mean peace. we come in peace. We mean you no harm. Aww. What a spot for a wee snack. This is great. It's turned into a stunning night, isn't it? The views.